You have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. Not understanding what the customer wants is another huge mistake, huge mistake that plumbing entrepreneurs make, okay? And I guess a way to put that, a better way of putting that is not understanding what the customer really wants, what the right customer really wants, okay? And here's when we get in a situation of, you know, do they want the fix? Okay, well, they just want, they want the problem fixed, right? They, just, they, want, they, want the, they want their plumbing fixed. No, that's not the case, okay? It has to do with time, okay, and their time. What the right customer, okay, really wants is their time back. Yep. Okay, so it's understanding that. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a hurdle to get through right. or to get over, mm -hmm. okay? Or to just crash through it. Just get, get, get right on by it. <laughs> a lot of guys get hung up on that hurdle. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I'm here to fix the plumbing. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. You're there to get uh, Mrs. Jones her time back. Yep. You do that, mm -hmm. all right, you're going to be successful. Get her time back, okay? In fact, there's, there's a common theme through all of this. And uh, I know my, my private clients hear me say this a lot. It ain't about plumbing, mm -hmm. okay? To, to be successful with a plumbing business, okay? Uh, to create a self-sustaining, all right, and very profitable plumbing business that provides you that freedom lifestyle that you desire. Mm -hmm. if, if, that's, if that's the life that you want, okay? All right, uh, you must come to the understanding that it has very little, your business has very little to do with plumbing. Okay, all right, yep. and certainly with the right customer and what the right customer really wants. Yeah, they called you about the leaky toilet, right. but that's, you know, that's really not what emotionally is going on and what they're concerned about. That's they're correct. concerned about their time, mm -hmm. okay, their time. Yep, and right. Anthony Perez Sr. is saying, can't tell you how many people give options um, that are completely irrelevant. irrelevant? Um, to the problem at hand that tells you the tech is not listening to the customer's needs. Exactly right. Exactly. In fact, on that uh, on big thing is options. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you, you're right on there with options. And, and part of that is the confusion um, is, is uh, with, with all this, um, you know, sales training and that kind of stuff. It gets you to, to, you know, it's getting guys to try to sell the new water softener and the the, you know, and all this other, other equipment and all this other kind of stuff. Really what your customer needs is their time back and they called you out on that leaky toilet. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay in the lane. Your options need to stay in the lane of that toilet. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meaning if there's a flapper, it's leaking, that's you discover what the problem is. There's the option number one, right? That's the repair. Hey, the, the flapper and then provide a better option like a minor toilet rebuild. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a the best option is replace the toilet. All right, the customer understands that. Why you're offering me a new toilet because you're here repairing the toilet. That makes sense. And I can trust that. When, and also a standard plumber, a regular plumber can do that kind of thing, okay? It's very difficult for a, a plumber to go from a, a toilet repair to, you know, well, we can throw you in a new, you know, we can get you a new softener today and we'll throw the toilet repair in for free. You know, uh, you know a guy doesn't speak well on that and the customer doesn't trust that. Okay, so there's a big thing with that options. Options are important, okay? Yep, absolutely. But it's understanding ultimately what the customer wants mm -hmm. is their time back. Yep. Another thing we say, we, I go on and on about is no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Call a plumber. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm -hmm. No one, no yep. matter how good looking you are, how pretty okay. your trucks are, yep. okay, how great your service is, you're the best plumber in the world. <laughs> they don't care. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, okay? They just want that problem to go away and get their day back, yep. get their time back, okay? And if you understand that, mm -hmm. you'll go a long way to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right? True. Okay. Hey, yes. let me get, can we do that? I still, I haven't given away anything free yet. Well, I want to give away my um, little, little free here thing, sure. okay? Some other things here. In fact, there's, um, let's do the seven must knows. Uh, well, let's just see if we can you hit that? There we go. All right. All right. My little free e booklet, the seven must knows. 
to be a million dollar plumber. And I cover seven things you gotta know, okay? Seven concepts, seven principles you gotta know to have a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, okay? That will lead you to that freedom lifestyle, okay? Simply type free in the comments, mm -hmm. or if you're listening, go to right. the right. seven. seven, type seven. <laughs> All right, see, I'm out of, out of the groove here. Is it seven? Seven. Type seven, seven the number seven in the comments, mm -hmm. or go to themilliondollarplumber.com mm -hmm. forward slash. Ooh, I get to do that. Remember, I used to do that too. Forward slash. Forward slash seven. All right, so there we go. Okay, so, so where are we at so far, okay? All right, we have, all right, huge issue number one mm -hmm. is serving the wrong customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, huge issue number two, mm -hmm. all right, is not understanding what the right customer really wants, mm -hmm. okay? And finally, drum roll please, okay? okay. <laughs> Joy to the world, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, this is a biggie, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a biggie that, that everyone does, okay? okay? And, and, and has some kind of opinion about, okay? Or experiences, okay? okay. And it's not charging enough. Can't not charge charging enough. That's what we hear all the time. I can't charge that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. My market won't pay, you know, won't bear that. My customers won't pay that. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many times have we heard that? 4,000. I mean, if I could just have a, if I could have a nickel for every time I've heard that, mm -hmm. that'd be another million dollars. <laughs> you know, literally. I mean, that, that's the biggie. That's a, it's a biggie right there. I can't charge that. Not charging enough. A huge issue that is literally killing your plumbing business. If you're not charging what your business needs to be charging, okay? And you gotta know what your business needs to charge, okay? There's power in that. Sadly, we all did it, okay? There, there, there's what, what, two or three or four different <laughs> methods, okay? Uh -huh. Method number one is we, you know, we, we kind of, we uh, run off with the, the price book from the last company we worked for, right. <laughs> okay? And we, all right, and we lower the price by 10, I'll show them, I'll lower it by 10%. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll get all the jobs, <laughs> all right? Got I got them, <laughs> okay? <laughs> all right, we do that. Sectors. Or, right, you know, we, we ask around, you know, we feel it, you know, we, we ask around at Supply House, or I think I can do this, you know, this much, mm -hmm. okay? And if my competitor is charging X, you know, I'll charge, you know, charge 10% less, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> you know, and I'll, I'll get them that way, mm -hmm. okay? And my favorite is we just pull it out of our arse, mm -hmm. you know, just reach on there and go, <laughs> here's what it is, okay? We'll see how that flies, okay? Mm -hmm. All those are killers, okay? Hey, and you're we gonna all, die. You're gonna die if that's, what, mm -hmm. if that's how you do it, okay? And, and we all, we've all done it, mm -hmm. okay? But the power is understanding, okay, mm -hmm. what your plumbing business, and there's key right there, mm -hmm. your plumbing business needs to charge, all right, to be profitable. And again, um, unless you want it to be a hobby, but it ain't a hobby. Does anybody okay, does anybody just plumbing for fun? Okay, and again, if you are plumbing for fun, there's nothing wrong with that. If you love plumbing, love being in the truck, okay, it is your life. Great, we need that. Okay, champion plumber, uh, plumbing needs good plumbers like that that just love plumbing and will do a good job. Okay, go work for a great company like Champion Plumbing. Okay, 